to the Bucket List Project podcast, a weekly show that talks about stories from my pursuit of nomadic lifestyle around the world, interviews with interesting people who I met in this journey, and a generous dose of thought-provoking conversation around travel as a lifestyle choice. If you love to listen on topics revolving around travel, then this will be a perfect companion for the ride to office, your morning jog, or in general when you're winding down for the day. We will have New episodes releasing every Friday, so do share and subscribe to our podcast and get your weekly share of travel inspiration. You know, uh, imagine this image, an endless blue stretching all around like a giant blue infinite canvas. You know, multiple rays of sunlight piercing through this canvas like a golden needle highlighting a very slender body of a human suspended in the blue like a floating feather. No air tank bubbles on his back, no clunky gear weighing him down, just sleek black fins kicking gently, propelling him deeper into the deep blue. The mind is clear, focused only on the rhythm of his breath, the pulse of his heart and depths that he is conquering. This, my friends, is the realm of free diving, a sport where the mortals flirt with the boundaries of our own bodies, pushing past limitations we thought were set in stone. It's not about bravado or death wishes. It's just about rediscovering the primal freedom of movement, the silent symphony of the underwater world, and the incredible and often terrifying connection with ourselves. You know, in this episode, we will dive headfirst into the sport of free diving and a journey of a high performance athlete who holds the national record in free diving for India. We will debunk myths, unravel the psychology of this unique sport and most importantly, rediscover the thrill of exploration, of pushing boundaries and of discovering what lies just beneath the surface of our own potential. I'm Srinath Shankar, your host, a party scuba instructor, co-founder of Pick Your Tray, India's fastest growing leisure travel brand, a digital nomad and a slow travel proponent. In today's episode, we have Mario Fernandez, a competitive freediver, professional athlete and a freediving instructor based out of India. Welcome to the show, Mario. Quite excited to have you on the show and, you know, kind of unravel your journey of pursuing this extreme adventure sport. Thank you, Srinath, for inviting me on this podcast to share my journey about free diving and my experience. You know, uh, it's my pleasure, actually. So let's start with the introduction. Who is Mario and what is his identity, if I may ask? My name is Mario Fernandez and I'm from Goa. I'm a professional freediving athlete and a freediving instructor trainer. I love freediving because of various reasons. One, I love the weightlessness that I feel while I freedive. I love the silence. I love the free fall. I love the physiological changes that goes in my body. And I love the true feeling of getting up close to the nature in the purest form. Yeah, thanks for that quick introduction. In fact, uh, you've explained so much of love for freediving in your uh, introduction itself. Can you help us understand what is freediving and you know, especially what is competitive freediving? It will help our audience understand and appreciate the sport a bit more in detail. Before I deep dive into what is freediving, I'm going to share some history and the origins of freediving. Dating back thousands of years, freediving was practiced in the early years for gathering food, collecting pearls and sponges. Little that we know, we are all born freedivers because the early days we spend nine months in the mother's womb where we are surrounded in the water column. Hence, we share similar reflexes just like the whales and dolphins. And we are the land versions of whales and dolphins. We have similar reflexes like them and we can dive deeper on one breath just like they do. But lately, freediving has been recognized as a sport, both recreational and as a competitive sport. When it comes to competitive freediving, it involves athletes participating in an organized event to showcase their underwater abilities. Disciplines like constant weight, free motion, 
and dynamic apnea challenge divers to achieve depth or distance on a single breath at least demonstrate a combination of skill technique and breath holding capabilities in a competitive setting you know it's such a fascinating subject when you're talking about this and in general extreme sport as a professional choice is a very western narrative when you know where we have seen a lot of uh, successful role models being an indian how was it for you to go down this path without having a reference point or a role model figure within india you know what were the uh, you know norms you had to break to get till here so since free diving is a such a fascinating s- sport and a subject back then when i was getting into free diving i had lot of big hurdles and a lot of social norms that i had to break one of the things were back then there were the biggest challenge was there were no professional instructor during that time in india and all i had to rely was on uh, youtube google reading about stuff and doing those stuff a lot of things that i did was you know i thought i did right but when i really got deeper into free diving and started doing professionally then i realized that a lot of stuff that i did back then were completely wrong uh but every year i had to like you know uh, to get the professional knowledge i had to travel to different parts of the world uh that was another challenge cuz i had to plan my life in such a way that you know uh the conditions were good the weather in those countries were good so all this were like a rig- biggest challenge and but i did it beautifully and like uh for me i progressed really you know i didn't take big jumps but it took me some time to get where i am today you know looks like a very long path you had to take uh, which without any guidance but uh, you come this far which is itself a great thing you know now i want to kind of uh, want you to relive the entire experience of you know breaking the national record for free diving it must have been the first recognition for you and your moment of truth professionally so you know want to know all the insider scoop on that although it's been now 2 years the memories of setting the records are still as fresh as that can be i was in israel training for 3 months for the last part of my training was adaptation to the depth and equalization once i managed to break this barrier we had finally set the dates for the competition and as the days started coming closer and closer i was only getting nervous instead of staying calm because i was going in the history books in the indian free diving community before then no one had ever competed in the depth discipline for india so on the day of competition Uh, we set the number slightly shallower so that i get the records and i don't get disqualified or black out so my coach said don't worry about the number we just make these records it's also will give a motivation to others that you know wow this record is not so deep and anyone can break it so we came in this mindset and we set the first record for 40 meters in free motion the day finally came to set this record and i was on the boat i was trying to keep myself as calm as possible and if you were me chilling out on the boat having fun with my coach joking around and all that was happening finally we reached the spot we were like where we were doing the dive and that's when the engine start the engine stopped the anchor was dropped and the judges starting setting up the line when the judges were setting up the line i could see the the nervousness only building up in my head all the trying to keep as calm as possible but i could feel my nervousness i would i was a little bit scared and all these thoughts were running down my down my head because i had flown thousands of miles to do this and i could not go wrong so finally the lines were set and one of the beautiful part of my training what my coach taught me to 
do was no warm ups and so when the coach uh, when the judge asked me uh, mario this is the time you have a half an hour of warm up to get the dive reflex in uh, in the mood and uh, that's when my coach said mario doesn't need a warm up okay the judge said so i went on the line and he said whenever you are ready i'm going to give you the countdown which is a 2 minute breathe up time and then you go down so finally i gave him the sign i'm ready my coach was at the side of him my coach said mario don't stress because these are the dives you've done already thousand times in training so just chill and enjoy the dive one of the nicest guidance i was getting from my coach and he told me all will be well i am at the side of you i am like watching you also the safety team was ready and the judges gave me the time 2 minutes and it went down to 1 minute 30 seconds 10 seconds and that's where i was taking my final breath in 10 seconds i took the final breath and the judge said official stop I took the final breath did my equalization and boom I went down the first 10 meters was just fighting the buoyancy and then I go in the in the zone of free fall which is the best part of the dive while I was enjoying the free fall little did I know boom I touched the bottom of the plate alarm went off I had to pick up the tag I picked the tag up put it in my hood made up uh, made my journey up to the surface halfway down the line I met I was welcomed by the deep free divers that I met there and then I came up to the surface while coming up to the surface i pulled off my nose clip broke the surface and we have a f- protocol of 10 seconds within 10 to 15 seconds you have to flash a okay and and say the words i'm okay also during this this protocol you need to also remove the facial equipment like the mask or the nose clip which i had already done it like halfway from the surface and they wait for another 5 to 10 second to see if i'm not blacking out or like i'm like you know i'm having a lmc and then they gave me a white card and that was the most proudest moment for me and i could feel goosebumps in my body running down the spine all over my body and my coach said mario you did it one more to go so that was the happiest moment and everyone was just cheering up cheering me up and like you know big shouts on the boat so the next day same procedures i was diving slightly deeper than what i dived on the first day and that also same procedures same thing and second also the i did the another national record before that also i participated in two other disciplines in uh, pool and on the first day itself i broke my st- broke the static record of another person and the second day was putting a bigger number but there was some problem there and uh, i could not put a bigger number but in training i had done uh, a breath hold for 7 minutes so the whole idea was just breaking the existing record and in dynamic discipline i broke the record twice in two days so that was my journey of breaking records but now i'm already having experience what it was like so the upcoming competitions will be super super easy for me but thanks a ton for all this beautiful questions and like you know helping me remember my memories of two years to now wow that is like so vivid it's as if we were actually free diving along with you when you broke that record um just curious what is the international record for uh, your category and 
what is your current goal given that you compete professionally are you looking to break this record again you now can you overall give an idea also of your routine to train for a competitive event like this so after doing all this four different national records i was super super happy with my performance and i did what i was supposed to do and it was the proudest moment i got back to india and uh, one of the days after few days uh, i got back i was just like browsing the net and somewhere i saw the free diving uh, uh you know uh ranking and uh, when i saw the ranking i said like wow like you know i didn't even know that there's a ranking somewhere like that in free diving so i said let me check my ranking when i checked my ranking it was a big surprise because last time when i when i saw the ranking it was like something 3000 plus and after i did four events uh for the first time in the history of free diving india was ranked in top 100 in the world we were at 70th position that was another biggest achievement for me i never thought that i would reach that far but now given the experience given the training i want to put my country in the top you know top 30s or top 20s and this is my next dream given last year I didn't compete in any international competitions because of the medical emergency in the family. So the records that I had set for India has been now broken by one of my friend itself. But plan for this year is to break them and get them back again because I'm already diving deeper than what the records are so it's just a little bit of water time that i need to practice and get those back already my training routine looks like i get up in the morning i do my stretching routines followed by breath hold workouts followed by a break and my evening looks like getting in the pool a little bit of cardio swimming underwater swims which is good enough for me to get there hmm this looks like a lot of work actually um can you give us an idea of uh, how you know free diving as a career looks like you know what is an average or a successful career in this space look like uh, you know if you can give idea for the listeners free diving as a career has a huge demand now in india and worldwide as a career you have different pathways if you become a free diving instructor you can become a safety diver you can work as a instructor you can even combine the skills and work as a underwater photographer and videographer or if you want to go even higher level you can train and compete and get sponsored by big brands and even do some commercial ads Ah uh, well you spoke about the professionals how is the recreational free diving scene at the moment like what is the minimum criteria to explore this sport for a common man right now the free diving recreational scene here in india is doing pretty well post covid we saw a lot of students sign up for free diving courses and it's only picking up from there um the minimum uh, minimum criteria to explore this sport is you need to know how to swim and and you need to be a little bit comfortable rest all has been taught in the course also the minimum requirement to explore any ocean is just basic free diving where we teach you to dive up to 5 meters on one breath and teach you lots about the safety protocols in free diving you know okay as an instructor can you also throw some light uh, on the education side of it like what are the courses available for us to pursue you know how does progression look like in this particular sport as a free diving instructor i'm going to tell you what are the different courses available today that we can do in india itself starting with the beginner level 
it's the basic free diver program where it is a one day program and you can dive a maximum depth of 5 meters in this course also you will learn the basics of safety and so on the next course after this is the level 1 course where you need to dive to a maximum depth of 20 meters but to clear the course you need to dive 10 meters no requirements in breath hold but we teach you advanced techniques of learning and holding breath the next one is the advanced free diver or the level 2 which is again like a 3 to 4 day course and uh, here we teach students to dive up to a max depth of 30 meters and the last course which is the most advanced course in free diving is the level 3 uh level 3 we focus on teaching students depth uh diving to 30 to 40 meters here we teach them advanced equalization techniques safety is focus more here and also we teach them how to train how to coach and also how to train by themselves in a controlled environment then followed by the next course is are the pro courses you can have like a 100 log session and sign up for the level 1 free diving instructor if you have done the level 3 course you can even sign up for level 2 instructor course and level 3 is purely on upgrade so the, these are the skill, uh, these are the courses available now in india and you don't have to travel to any other country but when it comes to progression in free diving there are some exceptional students who progress really fast but normally when i do teaching i try to take students one day one step at a time because when it comes to progress in the water it's the main thing is equalization adaptation to pressure so that takes little bit of time so i get my student you know used to the pressure and equalization and then we start diving deeper working on their techniques and so on um, you know given that this is such a risky sport uh, there will be a lot of myths surrounding this particular sport right what are some of the myths that you would like to bust in this podcast for us i'm going to share some myths that have been spoken about free diving which is not true one of the things is free diving is only meant for expert divers which is not true because we also have the beginner level programs where we teach you the basics of free diving in a pool and we also teach you to dive up to 5 meters which is already deep and you don't need to be an olympian swimmer or you need to be an expert swimmer all you need to know is just to be comfortable in the water the next myth that we have about free diving is it's a adventure sport and people push their limits and boundaries well when it comes to pushing limits and boundaries it is not done in a day so you keep training over a period of time and keep understanding the depths the protocols the safety protocols and so on and when our bodies are comfortable to diving to a particular depth that is when we start diving slightly deeper but in a very controlled and very safe manner with a high level of safety around you last thing is breath holding well when it comes to breath holding any human being can hold his breath easily more than a minute you don't need like a special training for that but since you join on a course we teach you how to hold the breath and you can hold it longer within few hours or even few days i've seen some of my students who have come 45 seconds and ended up doing 5 minutes plus so it's not a special skill it is a skill that is built in you that we teach you you know in fact thanks a lot for you know throwing light on these uh, aspects and topics because these are some of the very common things that i have also heard myself 
now talking personally, how does 2024 look like for you and what's in store? Well, Srinath, uh, 2024 looks really busy at the moment and a lot of new trips happening for me. Uh, this year, I have decided to compete at least in two competitions worldwide. Uh, the plan for me this year is getting the country's ranking f- slightly higher. The last time I competed, it was I got the ranking from 3000 to top 100 in the world. I was ranked at India was ranked at 70th position. With all the training and hard work this year, I'm trying to get them up maybe in the top maybe 50s or even 30s depending how I perform. Uh, Apart from that, a lot of freediving trips coming up, a lot of courses. The calendar for 2024 is already booked fully. The first trip that is happening right now in this new year is the Andamans where I'm doing like various levels of courses up to even instructor levels. So it's going to be a busy, busy year around. Nice. That sounds uh, quite exciting, actually. You're going to be professionally competing as well as going to be teaching. Nice. Any parting thoughts for our audience uh, before we close this podcast? Yes. The thoughts that I want to share for, for my audience are freediving. It's a beautiful sport. It's an adventure sport. Guys, just one thing that I want to focus here is like, please, please do proper training follow proper safety procedures, never free dive alone and progress very slowly in a very controlled manner. Do your research and train under a very professional instructor or trainer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Srinath. And thank you to all the listeners. Thanks a lot, Mario. It was such a pleasure hosting you on this podcast. Uh, this conversation has opened up, uh, you know, interesting thoughts uh, in my mind. Actually, to pursue this free diving sport a little bit more seriously, and how to go about it. And, you know, as a ocean lover personally, uh, I was able to relate to a lot of things you spoke also, and I'm quite excited for you. Wishing you all the best for the 2024 plans, and hopefully. You get India into top 50 in this year's competition. Thank you. This wraps up uh, this episode of the Bucket List Project podcast. Hope you enjoyed this episode and listening to Mario. Uh, Do you think free diving is something you want to give it a shot? Uh, Well, I hope uh, at least from this podcast, uh, you know how exciting it is and... uh, how breathtaking it can be, literally speaking. So, if you liked what you listened to in this uh, podcast, then please do subscribe. Uh, We are available both on Spotify and Apple. And I'll see you next week. And until then, have a great time.